the rock pulls back. Uh huh. My knights hang. Do I play h5 check and then? Well, h5 check. I always have h5 check here. Uh. H5 check. Where does that H5 check lead me to? That's that's what I'm thinking about. Um, queen. I mean, I want to swing my queen to like H4 mate. Something. That's a fantasy I, I am having. Um, do I have to take on? Take on oh we have no knight takes uh that bishop is not hang hmm. here <laughs> drop a knight here mate or <laughs> crazy house there uh h5 check what does that do he just moves his king away right um h5 check King goes back. Like what? What happens if he his queen goes back? So I think there's there is a move order here. I mean, um. All right, so h5. Um, or okay, so ah, uh, this is a tough one. I don't think h5 works because if he goes king h7. That's it. <laughs> so this is going to be going to be difficult. Oi, all right. So I don't want to move my knight back to h2 or anything like that. Um, uh, yeah. What do we do here? Let's see. Try to get the... I mean, he's attacking my... Okay, okay, I got this pin here. That's good. Um... Can I get another pin here, I guess, maybe? Queen c2, or like queen d3? Oh wait, so queen d3 throws into bishop, maybe? So, we're turning to win a piece, this pawn can't take, bishop moves back, then what? That's a big question, then what? After that, then... Uh... 
uh, H5 check maybe now? H5 check and then Rook takes F5 preparing the discovery. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. Okay, so we're getting somewhere here. Wait a second. So Queen G3 attacking this bishop. Bishop goes somewhere, I guess, and then we can do like H5 check then. And then uh, if like King goes back, then Rook takes uh, F5 preparing a discover check. If Rook goes there, do I still play the same? I play Rook takes discovery. Uh, or maybe something like knight takes or something. Um, it just depends on where this rook goes, like, or where this bishop goes. Like, if it goes on, well, I, I guess it has to go back to like c5 or b6 or even a7. So like along this diagonal, it can't go there maybe because I and my queen's on d3. So queen d3, bishop b6 or a7 or c5, whatever. And so, um, so like what? Um, after that. H5 check. If he just goes down, then maybe I don't know. Maybe just take right, take H5 check, and then I don't know. Maybe he doesn't take. He goes here. Then ah. All right. So this is a tough one. All right. So Queen D3 first move, and then if Bishop goes back. H5 check. King goes up. Then Queen D2 check. And then maybe f4, rook takes f4, prepare to discovery. You know, and then just win that way, or like that. Rotate four check something, and then like win the rook, something like that. Um, what if he takes? Then I have rook takes here, and rook takes again, and that's almost mating. Or maybe like knight takes here, queen takes here, or something. Um. I think the first move is queen d3. So um, let's go ahead and do queen d3 first, and then see what the response is. So queen d3, h okay. Well, <laughs> well, if you're going to play h5, I guess I'm going to just take this bishop, right? What's the repercussions there? I don't see any tactics. Rook takes, rook takes, queen takes. I I'm up a piece, so I'm just going to take this then. Cool. All right. So that was a 2,000 rated problem, and my new rating is now 2120. So.